Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 3 and today we are doing a challenge. So yeah, I'm going to see whether or not this stock 1932 Ford Deluxe 5 window coupe can beat a uh, upgraded 1972 Reliance Supervan 3 on the extreme off-road silly build course. And uh, yeah, we've already uh, set the time for the Reliant because it's putting the time of 4 minutes 2 seconds 0 0.243 as it is the slowest on that series and um, yeah, I'm going to basically try and see if this 32 Ford can beat it so uh, yeah, there's two reasons why I've chosen this Ford one, it is the oldest car on the game and two, it's also 40 years older than the Reliant as well as also this being uh, one of the least powerful cars on the game and uh, one of the worst accelerating cars on the game so uh, yeah, and it's also by no means capable of going off-road in the usual sense so uh, yeah the Reliant in, on paper does have it in the bag quite frankly because it has 227 horsepower more it has 41 pounds feet of torque more and it also weighs 1286 pounds less as well as being 40 years uh, younger and having off-road suspension and uh, yeah also better brakes and uh, stuff like that but also this car does have one extra wheel than the Reliant Supervan which is the primary reason why that car was so slow in the series because it kept falling over basically so uh, yeah kinda a car with no power and uh, at least four wheels and the tendency not to fall over be it a car that will fall over but has plenty of power and acceleration so uh, yeah let's uh, see if uh, this Ford can do it so yeah this Ford yeah, easily uh, one of the slowest on the game as well as being the oldest so uh, yeah there's a lot going against this but like I said that Reliant did keep falling over and that's one reason, well, the main reason why it kept it had such a uh, slow time so as long as this car doesn't fall over and uh, doesn't have any uh, issues in that regard and just keeps going then uh, it should hopefully beat the Reliant and I know this is a pretty weird challenge but it's interesting to see what two vehicles that are completely different can do Obviously, it's been stock. It's even more far removed from that Reliant. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, barely even being able to do 60 mile an hour at the moment. I'm sure when we get down to the uh, downhill sections, we'll pick up speed with gravity on our side. Right, we've got another three minutes until we can until we uh, go past the uh, Reliance time. But we haven't fallen over yet, I'm pretty sure the Reliant have fallen over a few times already. Whoa! Well, we have fallen over there. <laughs> now, I think on some occasions I did actually rewind the Reliant. But I uh, just got so sick of rewinding it all the time, I just gave up in the end, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this car won't have those same kind of issues. Or as you can see, it's struggling for the water. That is something the Reliant also had a problem with. Picking up speed though, sort of. Two minutes to go until we fail. We're more than halfway there already. Right, we should pick up some speed down here. There we go. See, it might only have a 91 mile an hour top speed, but as you can see, with gravity aided, it can go a lot quicker than that. Far faster than the car was designed for. The water is a big issue with this car though, outside of the lack of uh, speed. Come on. It's got such a flat front that it just completely has the water going right up against it. It just slows it completely down. 
Come on, I'm nearly there. Looks like we're gonna do it. But frankly, the only thing that can stop us now is been breaking down, but that's not a future on this game, luckily. So there we go. We did it. We beat the uh, Reliant by more than 30 seconds, and uh, yeah, we weren't all, even all that far off the Morgan Free Wheeler, which put in a time of 3 minutes 11 seconds point one five eight. So we're not even uh, 20 seconds slower than that Morgan. So uh, yeah, this is going to show that three-wheeled cars on this game don't really work in terms of off-road capabilities. And uh, yeah, the Reliant has been well and truly humili humiliated, quite frankly. So uh, yeah, not only is it the slowest car in the series by uh, a long way. It's also slower than the oldest car in the game with barely an acceleration. So, uh, yeah, that Reliant is not a car that's good on this game for off-road capability. And even, quite frankly, it's not even all that good in terms of racing because not only do you fall, o fall over on an off-road course, you fall over just going around normal corners. So, uh, yeah, pretty useless vehicle, quite frankly. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. This was, just, say, a one-off thing that I just fought off up randomly, quite frankly. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see any more kind of challenge videos, then just say and I'll uh, give them a uh, look and see if I uh, like the idea of them. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.